Hi, it's Warren Cleveland again with Renew Insurance Group, and I'm here to show you how to stop buying insurance. Now, you may be asking yourself this question. Should I be concerned that the captive is owned offshore? In this video, we're going to discuss domicile. And what that means is where's the captive based? Now, captive started, call it the 1970s, Bermuda, Cayman Islands. And the reason that happened is because there were very few U.S. domiciles that had any legislation at all on how to deal with a captive. Most were geared around the traditional insurance company. Now, domiciling offshore has a few advantages. Well, one, they were early adopters of the formation of captives. And over the years, they've developed really well-established services and flexibility on how to deal with a captive. Now, the vast majority are offshore, but let, let's not be crazy. This isn't a John Grisham novel. There's not briefcases of money going between the United States and those domicile Bermuda, you know, Cayman Islands. Captive consultants over the years have created a really strong network to be able to form captives on behalf of group members uh, and others. Now, I want to I want to give you a big word of caution. If you run into a captive manager and the first thing out of their mouth is, hey, we're going to set up a, a captive in Bermuda or Cayman Islands, and it's going to be a great tax savings. I want you to stop what you're doing and run away. That is about the worst advice you could ever hear, and that is very dangerous. Now, what's been interesting in the last few years is an emergence of U.S. You know, state laws trying to compete with these offshore domiciles. Vermont and Tennessee in particular have done a really nice job of really taking the captive idea and promoting it. So ultimately, should you be concerned that your captive is going to be domiciled offshore? My answer is no. If you're ready to take control of your insurance premiums, click the link below for a free assessment.